First up, Russian indoor champion a few years ago, 8.06 in qualification, Sergei Polyansky. Looks a little bit nervous, not as experienced as his Russian teammate who's here as the defending champion. Here's Jeff Henderson, the Pan American champion, the best jump in the world this year. 8.36 in qualification, 8.52 earlier in the season. Jeff Henderson, can he add his name to a rich list of Americans to have won this title? Now listen to the roar for the world junior champion, Zhanan Wang. Massive night for him. Here's the Frenchman, Cafetian Gomi, European silver medalist in 2010, bronze last year, 8.12 in qualification. We'll need more than that tonight, you suspect, to get on the podium. Then Radek Juska, European indoor silver medalist and European under-23 silver medalist this year. 7.98 in qualification. He's more than capable of going over eight metres. Then the second of our Chinese athletes, Jinglong Gao, Asian champion this year. He's not shy and he's not short of a good reception. Fabrice Lapierre, great to see the Australian coming back to something like the form that took him to the World Indoor title in 2010. 8.03 in qualification. Then the Commonwealth champion, European champion and Olympic champion from Great Britain, Greg Rutherford, looking for the only title missing from his collection. Had one of the most consistent seasons of his career so far. Then the defending champion from Russia, 8.56 his personal best. He's not in that shape this year. Can Alexander Menkov turn it round? Then from Bermuda, the man who only just missed the medal at the Pan American Games, Tyrone Smith, just doing a little bit of shadow boxing to get himself in the mood and in the groove. Then the third of our Chinese competitors, Jin Zi Li. Huge roar for him. He's asking for more. World indoor silver medalist last year, Asian Games champion last year. And last but by no means least, from America, Paris Diamond League winner, doing his own little Usain Bolt waves there to the crowd. Mike Hartfield pumping himself up. A great final in prospect and an opportunity for history for the Chinese. Looking back over the history books, Huang Zheng finished seventh for them in 1995, but that's the best performance there's ever been from a Chinese long jumper in the history of the Men's World Championship. Jianan Wang, world junior champion last year. He's asking the crowd to get involved and help him out. Polyansky had 7.89 with his first effort. Henderson, incidentally, had a no jump. Huge amount of noise around the bird's nest for Wang. Well, he's got a solid one on the board if he gets the white flag, just waiting for that confirmation. There it is. The former decathlete found he was too short for the 10 events and he's proving to be a great long jumper. Perhaps not as decorated as his compatriot Jin He Lee, but a few people are tipping Wang to finish top of the pile as far as the Chinese long jumpers are concerned. And he's opened himself up there with a pretty solid first round jump. Got one on the board, he can look to improve. 8.14, he's temporarily gone into the lead, but there's a long way to go. Jin Long Gao. Asian champion earlier this year. 8.11 in qualifying. Once again, over the eight metre line. Now we've just seen Wang leap out to 8.14. What has the 21-year-old Gao managed to do in response? Pretty good on the board. Great for the profile of athletics here in China that three men have made it through to the final. As I said earlier, their best finish in the long jump is seventh back in 1995. They'll surely beat that. 8.14, he has tied his compatriot. This is Alexander Menkov. He's the defending champion. The Russian has had a fairly average season.
round about the eight metre mark. Quite a few no jumps in this first round. Janan Wang and his compatriot Jinglong Giao tied at 8 14. That would be a turn up for the books, wouldn't it? Menkov's gone in just behind them then, 8 02. You suspect there's a lot more fireworks to come from this competition in the rounds still to come. And now the Chinese support begins once again for their trio of long jumpers. First of all, Wang again, Rob. Yes, Shenan Wang is in the lead, courtesy of that 8-14. It was been, it's been a pretty poor first round. Quite a few no jumps, including one from Greg Rutherford, the Olympic champion. So 8-14, good enough to lead at the beginning of the second round. And that may be a marginal improvement from the world junior champion. A long, long way to go here, of course, but what a story that would be if a Chinese athlete managed to finish on the podium or on top. They've never done better than seventh before. But uh, a lot of big men struggling to get in their early rhythm here. Even Jeff Henderson's best so far is only 7.95. Bearing in mind, he's gone out as far as 8.52 this season. Wang's in the lead, and he extends his advantage by four centimetres in the early stages of the second round. Now, <laughs> Jinglong Giao asking for the crowd to help him once again. He was tied with his compatriot at 8.14. He's just seen that advantage go out by another four centimetres. No improvement there. He's putting together a fairly consistent series. Gomez, by the way, the experienced Frenchman's had two no jumps so far, so he's got one further effort. It's been good by the Chinese jumpers in terms of their accuracy on the board. Wang Li's with 8.18. Giao will stay in second place so far. There won't be any improvement there on his 8.14 from the first round. Greg Rutherford, the Olympic champion, had a big no-jump in the first round. This has been one of the most consistent seasons we've seen from the multiple major championship gold medalist, and that was much better from Rutherford. He's been in excellent form this season. He had a cracking Diamond League at Stockholm, backing up an 8.34 with an 8.32. He's almost certain to go into the lead here. No Britain has ever finished higher than fifth in the World Championship long jump, and that was Rutherford back in Berlin in 2009. 8.29, the Olympic champion has laid down a brilliant marker here in the second round. Fabrice Lapierre. He's living dangerously here. He's uh, 7.85. He's only up just at the moment in a position to give himself a further three jumps. The former world indoor champion needs, needs to improve here to make sure. Little stutter into the board. Well, that's at least better. Other than Greg Rutherford's 8.29, it's been a fairly low standard, to be honest. The officials just having a look at that plaster scene's come in for some real close inspection over this World Championship with Katarina Johnson Thompson's no jump, Marquis Dendy going out, missing by centimetres. Oh my goodness me, <laughs> that was so tight, but that time. I think we could almost see the indentation there. Yeah, 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 actually. I, well, I'm not an official, but I would say that's no closer or further away than some of the other jumps that have been given a red well, flag. It's almost identical, but it, I think we could see a mark, though. That's the it, point. it looks exactly the same as Dendy and Johnson and oh, Thompson, indeed. and they've both gone. Yep. Anyway, that did count, and Lapierre has moved up to 8-10. Now, this is Jin He Lee, the world indoor silver medalist last year. And if he jumps further... Then 7.95, that will deny Jeff Henderson, the best jumper in the world this year, an opportunity to continue his quest for gold. Huge moments here, the crowd doing everything they can. The Chinese are in second and third behind Greg Rutherford. 
Can Lee join them? Massive roar. And that could be significant for a number of reasons, not least of which he could get himself another three jumps, and it looked as though he has done that. His previous best was 7.69. And if he's moved up into the top eight, this is why the cameraman's focusing on Jeff Henderson. If it is confirmed, and I think it will be, above eight metres, Henderson's quest for gold will be over, and Greg Rutherford will have another couple of toes in his quest for gold. What a event this is turning out to be for the Chinese. Jenan Wang's in second place with 8.18. Jilong Giao's in third with 8.14. What a competition and what shock it would be for the Americans. He knows it was better. Well, Jilong Giao courtesy of his first round performance of 8.14 is still in third place Fabrice Lapierre is in fourth with 8.10 it hasn't been a sparkling standard both Americans have gone Jeff Henderson and Mike Hartfield Zhao getting roared on by oh. the crowd that is absolutely huge but he's got the red flag oh my goodness me Pulses were racing there. The lead's 8.29 with Greg Rutherford, the Olympic champion, once again proving so consistent. So Greg Rutherford in the lead, courtesy of that second round jump of 8.29. Both the Americans have gone. Is he wrapping up this competition? Oh, it's another great performance from the Olympic champion. He is so good at peaking come the big occasion. Had a tough year in 2013 after winning the Olympic title on home territory, perfect on the board. And last year, in the space of two weeks, he showed brilliant maturity to become the Commonwealth and European champion, aiming to become only the fifth Briton to hold all four major titles at the same time. Yes, 8.41, he extends his lead. He is just so good when it comes to the major events. Asking the crowd to respond. We knew he was in good form. 8.34 and 8.32 in winning the Stockholm Diamond League. He's halfway there. And that's his best performance in a major championship. So, Jianan Wang and Zhilong Giao are in second and third. What can Jinji Lee produce here? Another jump over eight metres. Rutherford by far and away clear from the rest of the field. Wang in second and Zhao in third with 8.18 and 8.14. Miles, miles behind the Britain. Well, I mean, wonderful performance for Rutherford. It's terrible otherwise. I mean, the is. qualifying standard was 8.15. It is a poor competition. Only Rutherford delivering anything close to his best. A brilliant jump by him. And the Chinese are going brilliantly. Lee in fourth, his two compatriots Wang and Zhao in second and third. Now, Fabrice Lapierre coming something close to the form that took him to the world indoor title. Can the Australian get in the mix? Well, that looks a bit better. 8 10 in the third round, that had him in fifth place overall. He could break some Chinese hearts here. Wang and Zhao. We're occupying second and third with 8.18 and 8.14, with Lee, the other Chinese athlete, 8.10, giving away a little bit on the board. Greg Rutherford's miles out front with 8.41. Can the Australian give himself a chance in what is Rutherford apart? A very low standard here. There's an opportunity, bearing in mind the marks that are on the board, to get himself a medal here without jumping a huge distance. Still waiting for that mark to register. He was shaking his head. But that may well be at least as good as his 8.10. He only needs to find another 8 centimetres to get amongst the medals. 8.20, and that is good enough for second place. Wang stays third, Zhao knocked off the podium.
But here we go, back to the long jump. It's still getting exciting over there. Fabrice Lapierre got himself into the silver medal position with 8.20. He was trying to tackle Greg Rutherford's seemingly unassailable, unassailable lead of 8.41. Has there been any improvement for the Australian? Brilliant to see him coming back to the podium, benefiting from the Americans' collapse. Remember, Jeff Henderson qualified with 8.36, which at the moment would be good enough for the silver medal. But he only managed to produce 7.95 in qualification, so there were no three further jumps for the American. 8.24, Lapierre consolidates his second place. Janan Wang. He's the only man who can deny Greg Rutherford the world title. 8.18 in the second round. It's a minimum of a bronze for Wang, which is a fantastic achievement. No Chinese man has previously finished higher than seventh. The world junior champion has got himself a world senior championship medal, but which colour? No, he was looking for 8.41. It would have been a massive lifetime best. He gets the white flag, but it's utterly irrelevant. Wang finishes as the World Championship bronze medalist, and he's still a teenager. Miles behind the board, it was all to pieces, but it doesn't matter. He can be justifiably proud of his bronze medal. Lapierre, 8.24, and Greg Rutherford, having never been higher than fifth in the World Championship before, capitalising brilliantly on the Americans' capitulation at the beginning of this final. He's only the fifth Briton to hold the World, Olympic, Commonwealth and European titles all at the same time. 8.29, 8.41. He's getting himself a reputation as a fantastic major championship performer. He was just being asked there if he's going to go for his last jump. He's not interested. He's got the union flag. Oh, it's a union waistcoat, I beg your pardon. He's going to put that on. It's a good sport. He now must go down as one of the great British athletes in history. The Olympic champion, the Commonwealth champion, the European champion. And now he completes the set. He is the world champion, and deservedly so. What a career it's turning out to be for Greg Rutherford. That was absolutely fantastic. The Americans didn't deliver, and once again, Rutherford has seized his opportunity in style. Oh, marvellous. And who would have believed that the 34-year-old Lapierre would uh, come through and for silver? I think he'd have got long odds on that one as well. The Australians weren't expecting it. Well, bearing in mind his season's best was 816. But such was the low standard, he only had to improve on that by eight centimetres. But at least he did in the last two jumps, which is fine competitive effort. So Great Britain's three track and field gold medalists from London 2012 have all replicated their gold medal winning exploits here in Beijing. It was gold for Jessica Ennis, it's been gold for Mo Farah and now gold for Greg Rutherford. And what a performance from Xianan Wang. 18 years of age, he's on the podium for China. Greg Rutherford will be on all the front covers of the newspapers back in Great Britain tomorrow. And I fancy this fella will be fairly prominent in the Chinese press tomorrow as well. I'm sure Fabrice Lapierre is somewhere celebrating. Rutherford, the supreme major championship performer 8.41, that is one of his best jumps in history and a warm embrace for Fabrice Lapierre who himself will be delighted to be back in the global frame after a difficult couple of seasons. World Indoor Champion back in 2010 but he's had a tough time since then and the Australian Athletics Fraternity will be delighted to see him pick up a World Championship silver. Well, I think people thought he'd be there or thereabouts, Rutherford, after those great jumps in Stockholm in the Diamond League. But uh, with the Americans coming in here with an 8.52 from Jeff Henderson, victory was far from guaranteed, but Rutherford 
has delivered in style once again. He's a really likeable character, actually. He's quite a modest man. Had a runway built in his back garden by his dad so he could keep training hard but spend some time with his young son, Milo. And he's got uh, a World Championship title to take back. Greg Rutherford completes the set. The Olympic champion, Commonwealth and European champion is now the world champion. Fabrice Lapierre, the silver, and Jianan Wang, the teenager from China, picks up the bronze.